What is going on YouTube? And if you're already following me, you would know that uh, I just replaced these dual piston calipers with the base S554 piston calipers. And in this video, there's plenty of these already out there, but uh, I'm changing the transmission fluid on my car. My car's an MT82. And I just figured since I was gonna crawl underneath of it, I would get down here and uh, show you guys what to do. So, uh, lining everything up and I'm gonna grab my lock. And if you're on the passenger side of the car, you can see the fill plug right there. I'm poking it with a flashlight. That's uh, our fill plug. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pop that loose just because it'll create a little escape vent. So when we drain the old fluid, it'll just kind of come out in a constant stream instead of gurgling out when air gets trapped inside of it. So uh, yeah, we're gonna crack this loose and then open up this drain and uh, let it all pour out. So I'm gonna. I think it's the same size, it looks like it's an Allen head. Uh, I'm gonna go through these sockets and figure out what size it is real quick. So it is an eight, but we have an issue with uh, my particular setup. My uh, impact rated Allen head sockets and ratchet combo will not work. I don't have enough clearance, so I'm actually gonna have to grab a uh, Allen wrench and crack it open that way like a barbarian. So uh, if you have a very low profile socket set that can fit up in there, then you can easily pop the uh, field drain right off. And uh, we have plenty of access, of course, to the drain. So I'm just gonna grab a uh, regular eight millimeter uh, Allen head and crack that loose. So I have my trusty Titan set of Allen wrenches here, and there's our eight. So let's grab this bad boy and go to town. Okay, so my biggest fear is just wondering how tight these are when they were last worked on by the previous owner or previous shops. Some kind of gorilla must have worked on this thing before me because. That took a lot of force to break. I was afraid it's getting ready to strip, but it finally let loose. Thank God. So, uh, but that broke free. Looks like this thing maybe overfilled. What's the? Looks like it's no. Okay, we're good. I just seen some uh, fluid on the thread so I didn't know if it was overfilled and getting ready to leak but uh when you do refill this you want the fluid to drain from the fill plug it lets you know it's full so uh, we have that off scoop my tools back and get this drain pan in place now we can actually use a, a tool from the 21st century here Oh man, <laughs> it was actually pushing me away from the car trying to break this free. Which I can actually understand the drain plug since, you know, if this thing was to come loose and these MT82s are already glass, so I don't mind this being that tight, but the fill plug, that was just ungodly tight for no reason. But it's getting ready to pour all over my hand. Yeah. So I'm going back with a synchro mesh. I don't know what's in this car. It looks like it has a red tint. Let me. I don't know what it is. Well, whatever it was, there wasn't much in it. I could tell you that. I think these uh, take three quarts. So I bought four quarts, and like I said, I'm just going to fill this thing up into it overflows but uh it didn't seem like we drained much at all 
and uh, it's some kind of mystery fluid. I don't know. It has a. Have you ever smelt like those Intex rubber pools, like the uh, above ground pools, that rubber smell? That's what this smells like. I'm not even joking. So I don't know what that is. It's a. Uh, I thought it was ATF at first, but I'm unsure. But either way, mystery oil drained, and now Pinzel Synchro Mesh is going in, and we're just going to use a transfer pump. I have a uh, love hate relationship with these transfer pumps just because uh, they have so much tubing and they make a huge mess. And this one's not labeled, so I always have to pump it to figure out which side's the in and which side's the out. But. We have the outside pushed into the fill plug, and now we're gonna get our in port and snake it around and get it inside our synchro mesh. Let's start pumping this bad boy and hope this bottle doesn't fall over and make a mess. Because usually it always happens. So I have my phone propped up. Wonder if I can get this uh, in frame. But luckily my exhaust is low enough that it kind of holds the bottle in place so I can just sit here and pump. <coughs> so this is our second bottle. We'll put the third in it if it takes it. And if it does, then we'll finish up with the fourth bottle until it starts uh, dripping from the fuel plug. So, uh, yeah, my cocktail is the uh, Pinzol Synchro Mesh. And I'm not sure if you guys can hear that, but that is my buddy showing up. He just got his uh, VMP Gen 2R 3 valve back on the road after he money shifted it. And it, it done some pretty massive damage. It uh, broke the... Uh, carrier bearing and the two-piece drive shaft it just broke it plumb the smithereens and then it uh, messed up the rear diff the backlash was really bad and he just went and uh, had a new set of uh, 373 gears put in it and uh, put a new clutch and aluminum one-piece drive shaft like what I have a Ford Racing Performance one so he's just out here putting miles on it to break that clutch in and I'm glad he has it back on the road. And there's the second bottle. Just finished everything up. Took it for a test drive, went out with my buddy, got a couple steaks and uh it shifts so much better. I highly recommend this combination for the MT-82. They approve of it too.